Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you about that how to use uh, YouTube data API with your Google Apps Script so basically this is the documentation of Google Apps Script and this is the YouTube data API so if you open this link three examples are given to you the first example will search a video by keyword so this is the example let me just copy this uh, function and explain to you copy this and I have opened a new project in Google Apps Script and this is my you can see that if you paste this example this is a function search by keyword now it is just searching the YouTube data API with a queue this is a query string we are searching for docs and we are displaying 25 videos per page so you can just change this number and we are displaying the result in log and in order to run this function first of all you need to press this run button and save your project first of all I will be saving by YouTube and click on OK and then you just need to select your function so it is saving the project of YouTube so just wait and if you click the save button here you will be selecting your function name and if you select this it will be uh, it will be saying to you that YouTube is not defined so in order to tackle this you need to go to resources and advanced Google services and then you need to select the YouTube data API version 3 right here you can see that these are the API's. so this is a API so you need to click on on here and click on OK so basically this will on the API and now if I run the function here you will have to provide the permissions so it will be signing in into the account here so like this so this is my YouTube channel coding section and uh, where I am uploading this video so just click on advance and grant the permissions so so you need to provide the permission so if you allow this and this will run the function for you running the function search by keyword and now if I check the logs you will see that these are the videos that are there for the keyword dog so it is displaying 25 videos the title and the video ID you can see that we are displaying the video ID and the title like this and this is the first example and the second example is that if you go to the documentation the second example it will retrie retrieve all your uploads that you have uploaded into your YouTube channel if I just uh, uh, copy this function you can just go to this link and copy this so I don't want to waste time and writing the same code again and again I just want to show you these three examples with a YouTube data API so if you copy paste the example so we are using the youtube.channels.list method and we are providing content details and this is a parameter that you need to set mine to true so this signifies that we are targeting our own channel that is coding section in this case and again we are displaying 25 results per page you can even change this value let's suppose I want to display 50 results so it will display 50 videos per page and now again if I run this so it is running the function so it is saying that search by keyword is not defined oh I think that uh, let me again run this so it is running the function so just wait it will take some time so it will grab all your videos and it will be printing on the console so just wait it is running this function So once this function completes you will see the result in the log so just wait it is running the function uh, it is taking too much time so let me just once again run this if it You can run this example by yourself also it will display all your channel videos YouTube channel videos in the log let me just move on to the third example the third example is very interesting it will subscribe to a channel if you provide the channel ID so basically this is let me just copy this if you 
if I copy paste the code here so here we are using the YouTube dot subscriptions dot insert and uh, this will insert the uh, insert this into the subscription feed basically we will be sub subscribing to this channel with a channel ID so here you can just provide the channel ID let's suppose I go to YouTube and in order to find the channel ID it is very simple you need to go to a channel HTML programming and in order to have a channel ID let's suppose I want to go to this channel it doesn't contain the channel ID so you need to find a channel which contains a channel ID like this so this is a URL you can see that this this channel has a channel ID like this so you need to just copy paste this like this so this is the channel ID guys so let me just copy this channel ID and paste it there copy this and here you need to paste it and now if I run this you need to select first of all it is saving the file code and now we will be running this function mm, just wait let me just refresh this um, sometimes it freezes this Google Apps script so you need to stay patient so it is now running this function at now it will have to grant permissions the additional permissions because you are uh, trying to subscribe to a channel so it will need additional permissions for that so you need to go to the same process and uh, click on the allow button in order to grant the permissions so basically it will manage your YouTube account so this these are additional permissions so it will subscribe the YouTube channel on your behalf so it needs permissions so now it is successfully subscribed to that channel and now if I reload this you will see that it will be coming to as subscribed so it will change into gray color so from red color so it will be having subscribed it is not showing that but uh, I have successfully subscribed to this channel you can see that inside my subscriptions it is showing to me technology again you can see that so in this way guys you can just interact with the uh, YouTube data API using Google Apps script so you can see that guys I didn't press the subscribe button and it has changed to subscribed so we have programmatically subscribed to a YouTube channel using Google Apps script through this example so this is a code here you can just found this code on the YouTube data API documentation just go to Google Apps script and go to this section YouTube data so these are the three examples that I want to show you so thanks very much for watching this video